the Tim Howell with Long, on Long Branch Guide Service. We're based on the Big Four in Mississippi, Grenada, Enid, Sardis, and Arca Butler. We mostly fish Grenada, Enid, and Sardis 90% of the time. Yeah, this, this is kind of what we do probably 90% of the time on our trips. Uh, this is the tried and true method for these lakes. Putting as many baits out there and covering as much water as you possibly can. And of course, this was all pre live scope, but we still do it. It's just, it's just hard to teach someone who's never fished with a live scope how to do it in a day. So, this, this way, this method is you know, more enjoyable for the, for the client, in my opinion. Uh, but of course, if they want a live scope, with a live scope. We, uh, we also long line jigs, troll crankbaits, power troll. We cast a jig with a live scope and we also sing a pole. Uh, don't be intimidated by the long poles and the, the number, amount of poles. It looks very intimidating to someone who's never done it. Uh, this technique is not sporting, so to say. You're not going to get, you know, you're not going to fight the fish, and you know this is this is basically what they call perch jerking. When the rod goes down, you want to snatch it up, get it up out of the water, and in the boat as fast as you can. And that way that alleviates him running through all the other lines and getting everything tangled up. So. These are ACC crappie sticks. These are uh, these are 16 foot trolling rods. Uh, we're looking for schools of fish, scattered fish where we can run our baits through them. Uh, looking for, you know, bait fish schools of shad. Typically where you find the shad, you're gonna find the crappie. This time of year, they should, you know, they're in their pre-spawn pattern, so we should be able to catch them on the outside of these trees, staging up to run into the trees to spawn. But after this Arctic blast that we had all last week that we're not accustomed to down here, sure what we're gonna to find today. You know, here, the week before we got the cold weather, uh, I'd heard reports of some guys, they, they were already moving into the trees two weeks ago. Typically in Mississippi, in Lake Washington, the, the spawn starts first here versus uh, Grenada and Enid, Sardis, those lakes. Over there, all depends on the water level and the temperature, of course, but usually mid-March, first week or two of April, somewhere in between that area is when they run to the banks. be out in the mouths of the creeks, ditches, uh, fishing some transitional ledges, you know, from deep to shallow water. Uh, like I said, trying to catch the big females and the males, you know, as they're coming up to, to run in shallow. They'll stage up out in the mouth of those creeks before they run shallow. And then as the female, as the spawn continues, you know, the females will run in and lay their eggs and they'll run back out. So you, you can still kind of catch them in the same, I use the regular same areas. Here. And then once that's over with, you, of course the males will sit on the nest for up to a month at a time, you know, guarding the nest. And we'll get up in there in the shallows, do this in, you know, three, four foot of water. This same technique and uh, catch those males. Speed and depth is the main thing you want to look for doing this technique. Uh, you kind of let the fish tell you what they want by you know changing your speeds, slowing up, speeding up, 
that kind of thing. Uh, if you're getting bit when you speed up, like if you make a turn, these poles are going, these are going to be moving faster than the inside poles. So if you get bit while you're turning, that should tell you that you need to speed up a little bit. And, and just the opposite, if you get bit on this side when you're turning, where you're slowing down, it tells you you need to slow down a little bit. Uh, you just got to pay attention to what's going on, the little things, and you know that'll, that'll help you catch more fish and just pay attention to how they're biting, what's going on. But you know, speed and depth is, is the two most important factors in when fishing like this.